Chapter 3, number 17, part C from OpenStax. Here we're asked to calculate the mass of this many moles of sodium sulfate. The first step we want to do here is to calculate the formula weight of this ionic compound using the average atomic masses found in the periodic table. So we have um, three different elements here. For sodium, we have two of those guys. And the average atomic mass of sodium, as listed on ptable.com, is 22.990. Sulfur, we have just uh, one of those. And oxygen, we have four of those. So let's multiply the subscripts by the average atomic mass of the different atoms. So for sodium, we have 45. 0.98 sulfur we have just 32.06 because we have a subscript of one and for oxygen let's see on our calculator we get 63.996 now we add up the contribution of weights from each of those so add those three numbers up to get the grand total and this is the formula weight or molar mass of the substance in units of uh, grams per mole. Next step we want to do is we want to convert moles to grams and we use dimensional analysis to help us out with that. So we're starting off with 1.6 times 10 to the minus third moles of sodium sulfate. Okay, And we want to then um, use the formula weight as our conversion factor. So on top, we're going to have 142.036 grams of sodium sulfate divided by one mole of sodium sulfate. Okay. And the moles of sodium sulfate cancels. And so on your calculator, you multiply these two. And you get um, a result on your calculator. Now we're going to round this off to two significant figures. So I get 0 0.23 grams. And it's a good idea to write the chemical formula there. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.